Well, I got started in archery uh, about two and a half years ago, and it was because I wanted to go hunting uh, with my dad, and so we decided to get a bow and arrow, and I went to a local shop, and I picked out a bow, and I w went out in the woods and had a great experience with my dad, and here I am today. One of the ways I figured out how to shoot a bow accurately using just my feet was I would YouTube videos of people who have uh, their arms or their what we call able-bodied shooters and I would watch the best in the world and I, when I would watch them I would say okay now he has his hand holding the bow this way so in my head now I need to take my foot and I need to hold that bow just like that gentleman did with his hands but use my feet instead. My bow is not a special bow. I can walk into an archery store and just say I want to shoot that bow and they can just hand it down to me and I can just shoot it. I think there is a huge advantage for me shooting with my legs and that is because for one I use my leg and my leg is generally stronger than most people's hands so I don't get tired as fast. I can hold the bow steady for longer, longer periods of time. I think one of the most difficult things to learn was when I had my first son was how was I was going to take care of him. You know, how was I going to change his diaper, how was I going to feed him, you know, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of people who inspire me. I think that my biggest, the, the people who inspire me the most are my family. And that's because every day when I go out now and I think about shooting and, and that's what I do for a living and, and knowing that I can take care of my family and that they rely on me to buy them clothes, shoes, things like that. So they really inspire me to keep pushing on and doing, to do what I do successfully. So I, I don't think that you know, anytime soon anybody will be breaking my world record at 230 yards, um, except myself. I would like to re-break that record um, and push the limits and really see how far I could shoot. And if I would have 10 seconds or 15 seconds to tell anybody, you know, motivational or, or influence them the most, I would tell them that they should set a dream and a goal and knowing that life is going to be a little rough sometimes getting to that goal but the only thing that is stopping them is their own mindset and if they could just keep pushing through it they can overcome anything.